Wow, what they say is true. Mess causes stress. Multitasking never ends, so it's great when any task gets simplified. It gives you more time, space, and energy for the things you really want to focus on. And what can be a better stress reliever than that? If you oversee your company's network, a Cisco Smart Account might be just what you need. A Smart Account is used to purchase, deploy, track, and renew certain Cisco software, all within a single user interface. In this episode of Tech Talk, I'll show you how to request a Cisco Smart Account to get you on your way toward a streamlined experience. First, visit the Cisco Software Central page and log into your Cisco account. If you don't have a Cisco account, you can create one by clicking on the Create an Account button. You will be redirected to the id.cisco.com page. Click on the id.cisco.com button. To create an account, click the Sign Up button. Enter an email address. In this example, I'm using a Gmail address. Enter a password and make sure you meet the parameters. Enter your first name, last name, and select the country from the drop-down menu. Finally, click the Register button. As soon as you click the Register button, you will get an email from cisco.com to activate your account. Click on the Activate Account button. Once your account is activated, navigate back to the Cisco Software Central page. Click the Login button. Enter your email address and click Next. Enter the password for your account and click Login. Scroll down to the Smart Licensing section. Under New Account, click on Create Account to create a new Smart Account. You'll be redirected to the Create a Smart Account page that shows your Cisco profile information. You have the option to change your account name. Click on the Create Account button at the bottom to create a Cisco Smart Account. You'll receive an email from Cisco confirming activation of your Cisco Smart Account. The email will contain details such as Smart Account name, domain ID, account type, and other information. Now you can log into your Smart Account again and manage your account from the Manage Smart Account section. You can see the Smart Account name and account status shows as active. We see a note about the account information stating that the feature of this account is being limited because the email address that was used to create the account was a personal account rather than a company or organization account. A limited account has restricted features such as limited number of users and virtual accounts, no user groups or customized tagging. You'll be able to upgrade to a standard smart account when you change your email to a company email domain ID. Let's see what a standard smart account looks like. I have logged into the Cisco Software Central page with a company email. Navigate to the Manage Account option. You will not see the notification that was displayed in the limited smart account. Some tabs at the top of the page and options under account information might be different. It's as simple as that to request and create your Cisco smart account. So sit back and relax and enjoy all that newfound free time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.